Hello, my name is Shirley. I'm a member of the clinical team at Chartwell Hospital. This video is going to be me describing your colonoscopy procedure with fleet bowel prep. If you would like me to describe a colonoscopy with Picolax bowel prep or Movi prep bowel prep, please see a link in the description below. If you're having a colonoscopy with fleet bowel prep, there is a difference between a morning appointment and an afternoon appointment instructions. For a morning appointment with Fleet, for seven days before, we ask you to stop any medication that involves any iron or taking anything that will stop you having diarrhea. For three days before, try to avoid high fiber foods such as fruits and vegetables. Try to choose foods like white breads and cereals such as Rice Krispies or cornflakes. The day before your morning procedure, you're to have no food. At seven o'clock in the morning, we'd like you to drink a couple of glasses of water and then make up the first bottle of Fleet into some more water. Sip that slowly over the next 15 minutes. Throughout the rest of the day, it's very important that you keep your fluids up, not just plain water, but fluids that contain sugars, such as orange squashes and orange colored jellies. You need the sugar from these drinks to give you some energy. You could also have consomme soups, soups that are clear and can be strained, you can have those too. At seven o'clock in the evening, we'd like you to drink another couple of glasses of clear water and then make up the second bottle of Fleet in some water. We'd like you to sip that slowly over the next 15 minutes. It's very important during this time that you keep your fluid intake up. The Fleet will give you diarrhea and it can make you feel quite lightheaded. So it's very important that you keep your fluids up. You may drink clear fluids up to two hours before your procedure. If your colonoscopy procedure with Fleet is in the afternoon, for seven days before, you stop taking any medication with iron or any medication that stops you having diarrhea. For three days before, we'd like you to eat normally, but avoid foods that are high in fiber, such as fruits and vegetables. The day before your procedure, you can have a light breakfast and you can have a light lunch before 12.30. This may be some toast or some soup or some eggs. After you've had your light lunch before 12.30, there is to be no more food now until after your procedure. At seven o'clock the evening before, we'd like you to drink a couple of glasses of clear water and then make up your first bottle of Fleet in some water and sip that slowly and drink it over the next 15 minutes. At seven o'clock in the morning, the day of your procedure, we'd like you to drink a couple of glasses of water and make up your second bottle of Fleet in some water and sip it slowly over the next 15 minutes. It's very important during this time that you keep your fluid intake up, not just clear fluids, but for energy levels, fluids with sugars in as well, such as orange squashes and orange jellies. You may continue to drink clear fluids up to two hours before your procedure time. Once you come into the hospital, you'll go to one of our friendly receptionists and they'll ask you to fill out a questionnaire. Once that's been done, they'll call a member of the team who will come down and they will take you up to our admission room, which is on the first floor. We have stairs or a lift if a lift is required. Once you go into the admission room, a member of the team will go through a questionnaire with you. This is your chance to ask them any questions as well. Please feel free to do that. A colonoscopy procedure involves our specialist doctor passing a fibre optic camera into your lower part of your bowel and that goes round into different parts of your colon. Your lower colon, which is your sigmoid colon, up and round a little bit into something called your descending colon, up to a little bend and then across to your transverse colon, around another bend and down into your ascending colon. This whole test takes between 15 and 20 minutes. The specialist doctor will come in and will chat to you and may ask you some questions. This is your chance to ask him any questions that you may have as well. When you're happy he's explained everything to you, he'll ask you to sign a consent form and that is you agreeing that he can do the procedure. Once you've signed your consent form, we'll ask you to get changed in our changing room. That will involve putting a pair of dignity shorts and a gown. The staff on the day will explain to you what items of clothing you may leave on and what you need to remove. Once you're changed, someone will take you through into the procedure room and you'll sit on the bed and another team member in the room will ask you some questions. We will lay you down and we'll put some monitors on you. We'll monitor your blood pressure and your pulse and we'll put some oxygen on through a little cannula that will sit in your nose. You'll be lying on your left side and there'll be a TV screen for you to watch the procedure if you'd like to. 
When you have sedation, the doctor will put a small cannula in the back of your hand or in your arm. This will enable him to give you the sedative which will relax you throughout the procedure. Once the doctor has placed the cannula in the back of your hand or your arm and he has given you the sedative, it works almost immediately. It will relax you, but you will always have full control of your actions at all times. Because we're giving you sedation, we do have to give you oxygen, and that will be through a little nasal cannula that will sit in your nose. We'll also put a small probe on your finger to monitor your oxygen levels and your pulse. If you've had a sedative and a painkiller, there are instructions you will need to follow quite closely, and that is mainly no driving for 24 hours, no alcohol on that day, and someone to stay with you for at least 12 hours, or if it's an afternoon procedure, overnight. Another option for you is Entonox. What happens is when you go into the room and you're lying on your side, you'll be given a tube to breathe with a mouthpiece and you'll be asked to breathe it in and out for several minutes. This will make you feel nice and relaxed during the test. And it does act almost immediately. If you choose to have Entonox, within half an hour of stopping breathing the Entonox, there'll be no restrictions on your day. You'll be able to go back to work and you'll be able to drive. There are two main concerns that people have having a colonoscopy. Some people are worried that they may go to the toilet and you won't do that. If you've followed the bowel prep instructions, your colon will be empty, so there's nothing for you to worry about. People are also worried that it will be painful. We do give you a painkiller and a sedative to make things as comfortable as possible for you. If at any time you're in any discomfort, let a member of the team know and we'll do something about that for you. During the procedure, the doctor will pass the camera around the whole of your large bowel. During this test, he will put some air or some gas into your colon, and at times this can make you feel quite bloated and maybe uncomfortable. This is why we offer you the painkiller and the sedative. After the test, because you've had a painkiller and a sedative, and you may be quite sleepy, we leave you on the bed and we'll take you through to recovery where somebody will look after you out there. Out in recovery, they will take your blood pressure, they'll give you some water, some tea or coffee and some toast, and they'll go through your discharge paperwork with you. The doctor will come and talk to you before you go, and he will tell you his findings on the day. He will do a report which we fax to your doctor, but when somebody goes through your discharge paperwork with you, they will give you a copy of that report as well. If you do have any questions or concerns, please feel free to call us at Chartwell Hospital on 01702 478 885. And the number is also in your paperwork and in the link in the description below.